Welcome to our Fashia Demystifying Channel, an innovative and informative channel exclusively for Fascia and its clinical applications. Hi all, welcome to our Fascia Awareness Initiative. I'm Dr. Ajim Shah and you can uh, call me as a Fascial Enthusiast. This channel combines informations which are searchable and reproducible and uh, the intention is very simple just disseminating the fascia knowledge. Fascia, the connective tissue part which surrounds or connects our body is otherwise pronounced as fascia. Like fascia, fascia. Musculoskeletal dysfunction and pain are among the leading reason for visit to the physicians and physical therapists and are the most common cause of long-term chronic pain affecting people worldwide in range of 100 to millions. Without proper management, chronic pain have a strong disruptive impact on individuals, physical, psychological and social well-being. At the societal level, pain creates a tremendous economic and workplace burden. As the prevalence of musculoskeletal pain is projected to rise with a sedentary but longer living worldwide population, it calls for a greater effort in the development and evaluation of new ways of managing these patients. There is a global call for more integrative type of approach than the so-called speciality approaches and the world like holism, psychosomatization, mind and body connection are claiming much attention and evidences than previously. The so-called neglected tissue, the fascia, is now getting heavy attention based on the current histochemical and biomechanical evidences rather than anecdotal ones. Uh, fascia is a connective tissue as I mentioned that surrounds all part of the body starting from the cellular level wind around each and every organs of our body the muscle fibers, nerves, uh, blood vessels everything so that it's a continuous structure if you are pulling from one side of the fascia you will get the pulling in another side because it's a continuous structure fascia is the second most highly innovative structure in the body after the skin fascia is so dynamic and keeps on changing based on the situation your activity a lot of uh, neurotransmitter levels in your body and always have an influence or role in the internal balance of the body. We have to start the fascial journey from the point where we stopped. Our ancestors were aware about the role of fascia in the mind and body connectivity and the influence of fascial continuity on our health and well-being but when we started learning anatomy we were so curious to dig in to see what is inside before thinking what is protecting it we care the skin because it was sensitive and a socially acceptable system we miss the fascia and the role of fascia both macroscopically and microscopically and we miss the most important cause of chronic pain and dysfunction. Recent studies have demonstrated the role of fascia in various musculoskeletal dysfunctions as the fascial tissue connect every skeletal muscle and organs forming a body-wide web in a traceable pattern so-called meridians or chains or connections 
which were the best principles of money ancient medicines and martial arts of the world it is the time to discover the inseparable connection between the mind and the body it is a time to know the unknown of missing link of mind and body connection it is the time to redefine the health and wellness by placing the fascia in its position it deserves and to ultimately to understand that human body can't be seen as separate units but should be seen as a single coordinated functional system i can even say that fascia is the key to the mysteries of mind and body relationships why the fascia is still relatively unknown there can be many answers it's a new field of research fascia research is not more than 40 to 50 years old it has been fragmented and disintegrated during the majority of that time The first fascia research congress which was held in 2007 was started connecting informations together to have a common platform. Fascia knowledge contradicts previous knowledge. These new research findings turn previous knowledge about the body upside down. Textbooks on anatomy speaks little about fascia. and if suddenly research pops up that claims you have missed one of the most central parts of or most influential part it makes a difference a lot of research is happening nowadays regarding the fascia and its relationships to the body and the mind and we believe that when the complete mysteries of the fascia is unwind we can find a lot of explanation for the day to day happenings of our life Dr Jean Claude Kimfatu a hand surgeon and the author of the famous film Strolling under the skin the film shows for the first time the most fascinating images of the living fascia using a special endoscopic camera he said for several hundred years anatomists and surgeons neglected this tissue that is a fascia since it does not seem to be something that is there but the fact is that it is not just something it is everything fascia is a connective tissue network that envelops everything in the entire body from the muscles and bones to the organs and cells It is the robe body packing that holds all parts of the body in place promoting movement posture balance and helping us to cope with the gravity effect many of the complementary therapies that we are following is actually having a lot of fascial connectivity and remodeling principles in fact we can say that they are working on the intricate interconnection between the mind fresh and body and they knows manipulating the fascia is the best way to calm or harmonize or optimize the mind and the body yoga ayurvedic massages even any traditional type of massages and uh, tai chi the kathas of the karate and the ninja principles and reflexology if you are looking all these things what you can see are you know uh, are the fascial connectivities and uh, utilizing myofascial force transmission and fascial remodeling process. in the upcoming series we may be explaining you about how to harmonize mind fascia and body to have an optimal life with less dysfunctions and most active and ever youth life thank you all for your time and patience please subscribe like and share the channel for disseminating the fascia knowledge and we'll be come back with a much more interesting topics till then bye bye